Hello. In this video, we'll be talking about the pipe library of our InfraWizard project. The pipe library contains the standard materials and sizes that you can assign to pipe elements of your pipe network. All pipe materials and sizes defined here are available for both gravity and pressure networks. The library is divided into two tabs, one for the circular section conduits and another for the box section conduits. Each tab contains a list of materials, where each record represents a certain pipe material and possibly a particular class of it, and each material has its own list of standard section sizes. It is useful to have an individual material record for each pipe class if you want to define the pipe thickness accurately for the pipes in your project, because the pipe wall thickness usually depends on the pipe strength or pressure class. For example, I have here four material records for HDPE pipes, where each record denotes a particular pressure class starting with PN6 and up to PN20. The project template of InfraWizard comes with a set of predefined materials. You'll find here ductile iron, GRP, HDPE, and several other materials. You can add more materials, and you can copy or rename existing ones using these buttons. You can also delete the unused materials from the library, but you'll not be able to delete a material if it is already assigned to one or more pipes in the project. You can also exchange materials data between projects. If I click Export, I can select the materials to be exported and then save them to an INW file, which can be imported to another project. Selecting any material in the list will activate its table of standard pipe sizes. For circular section conduits, the table of standard sizes contains four columns. The first column contains the nominal diameters of the pipes, and for each nominal diameter, there are three dimensions defined, which are the inner diameter, the outer diameter, and the multi-cell spacing. The multi-cell spacing is used only when you have a conduit consisting of multiple cells. The value of multi-cell spacing represents the horizontal distance between the centers of the two adjacent cells in the conduit section. You can edit the values of inner diameter, outer diameter, and multi-cell spacing directly in the table, but you cannot change the value of nominal diameter once it is created. This is because the nominal diameter is used as an identifier of the size record. You can, however, create new sizes using the Add New button and remove unused sizes using the Delete button. The Box Sections tab of the Pipe Library works the same way with some differences in the size table. The first two fields in the table here represent the inner span and the inner rise of a single cell of the conduit, and they are used as a size identifier, similar to the nominal diameter in circular sections. The outer wall thickness is the width of the two outermost walls in a conduit section while the inner wall thickness is the width of any internal wall separating two adjacent cells. The last field is slab thickness, which is the thickness of the upper and lower slabs of the conduit. One thing to note is that all section dimensions, for either circular or box sections, are always expressed in millimeters in a metric units project, and expressed in inches in an imperial units project. Changing the assigned material and size of a pipe element is done through the Edit Pipe dialog, which appears by double-clicking a pipe. Or using the context menu command, InfraWizard Edit. And you can easily change the size of a set of pipes together using the Group Edit table. All that I need to do is to click Edit Group, select the pipes to be edited, and press Enter. I can then use the context menu at the column header to assign a new size to the selected pipes. We'll be talking about editing networks extensively in the coming few sessions. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.